Hmm. I've had just about enough of your sarcasm. Just about. So you could probably have some more if you wanted to, right? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Where's the entire box of cookies that I just bought? That's almost an accusatory tone, but there's no- Yeah, I ate the whole box because I have no self-control. Did you open a new box of Pop-Tarts? I don't think so. There was already an open one in the pantry. Oh, I didn't know. Well, now there's two open ones. There's still the same number of Pop-Tarts. I was gonna eat one anyway. Yeah, but it's uneven. How? There- I mean, I could have eaten one from either of them, and it would still be the same collective number of Pop-Tarts. Yeah, but it's uneven! So, Tony, now that we're working together again, do you think I could get the shield back? What shield? What are you talking about? Hmm, you really... The shield that I've carried around since 1942? Hmm, um... A shield... Oh, are you talking about the shield that my dad made, that I own, and that belongs to me, and is mine? Yeah. And that technically makes me Captain America because it's mine? That isn't... It's that Thor's hammer. You don't become Captain America when you hold it. You kind of become a... You sound like a Taurus. This city, this city has no place for Taurus. You gotta live here at least 77 years before you truly understand it. Understand what about it? What are you talking about? You probably don't even know how to get around, you Taurus. The streets are numbered. I have a GPS. Pretty much all you need to know. Uh, you're no city slicker. You're probably from some town in Texas. I don't even have an accent. I'm from Virginia. Nah, you're some redneck dude, huh? Is everybody in the city like this? Yeah, pretty much. I'd say about 90% of the population. Almost all of us, yes. The year is 2018. Donald Trump is locked in an intense Yu-Gi-Oh duel with Ryan Reynolds, the current Prime Minister of Canada. You know, I'm just, I'm totally okay with women being plus size. Okay, that's good. It's a good thing. Because it turns me on so much. No, that's, I don't know, I thought we were on the same page for like three seconds. You came up with the idea for sneezing, right? Yeah, it clears the airway so that if anything's irritating the nostrils, it'll just get that out of there. I was thinking we'd dial up the uh, the force behind it. By how much? Like a small aircraft taking off. I, uh, I stayed up way too late. Why don't you just stay awake all day and then go to bed at like 9 tonight? That's a risky fucking move. Do it anyway. I think I'm gonna do it anyway. You either buckle down to do your work or you'll end up at McDonald's. We going to McDonald's if I don't do my work? No! <laughs> Can my dog play basketball? I'll give you ten dollars if you say yes. Sure. It's done. I'm gonna bring back Hitler and kick his ass. Just because you have a time machine doesn't mean you can take Hitler in a fight. Fuck you, John. Bye, Dave. What? Tony, what do you want? You need you need a shave and you need a haircut. I don't know if anybody's pointed that out to you, but you have a huge beard and your hair is really long. I know that. It didn't just appear one day. I've been growing a beard and growing my hair because I'm not Captain America anymore and I don't have to shave or cut my hair. You should, though. You really should. Have you been showering? Okay, so when we get to school, we're going to interlock our arms and form a Roman shield wall so that we can all be in on the same conversation while we walk as slow as physically possible down the hallway. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think we're going to be getting in the way of enough people. You're right. You're right. Well, what if we stood completely still in a circle that was the width of the entire hallway? That way no one could get past us and we could still have our stupid conversations about nothing. That's good. That's good. We should definitely do that every day for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I mean, our conversations are way more important than anybody else this time. I love being a psychopath. Well, look at this. Harry Potter. You look exactly like, like my mom. Yeah. People say uh, I have her eyes. That's not what I was going to say. I was going to say you look like your dad. You look like a clone of your dad. Who told you that you have uh, your mom's eyes? People every day. It's like the same thing that's... People have told me that since I was 11. Your mom's eyes were like brown. We're talking about Lily, your mom, right? Yeah, I know. Your mom's eyes were brown, yours are blue. You're like blueberries in your face. That's strange. Everybody's always told me that I have my mom's eyes. And you like just believe them? Don't you have a picture of your mom in your house somewhere? Of course, I've got a moving picture of her in my uh, closet at home. Have you ever like looked at it at all? Are you taking a piss? Yes, I've looked at the picture of my mom before. I'm just saying because you're saying that you have the same eyes as your mom and your mom had drastically different eyes than that. I mean, what do you want me to say? Hi. Do you want to look at a tweet that I find entertaining? The worst example of cultural appropriation ever. LGBTs stole the rainbow from God. It's his. He invented it. Gen 91117, give it back. How does one steal 
light refracted through water. What's the process of that like? You just you just scoop it you scoop it up with a scooper and then you you scramble away like a fucking thief in the night. And his process of explanation is <clears throat> Gen 91117. That's all the information you need. A couple of numbers and, a, and half a word. I know it's a Bible reference. Shut up. But then he goes on to say, give it back. It's like when you see two kids and one of them goes, it's like, hey, I got your nose. And the other one's just like, give it back right now. Hey, Siri, turn on the power mode. Uh, power is at like 300% though. I don't, what did you just say to me? Turn on fucking low power mode right now. I was looking at pictures of dogs in suits because I was eating Ritz. So, you know. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, but yeah, that's what I was doing, and I found this. This is a seemingly normal picture. Little do you know, over here, what do we have? Tumblr boy man, men, hot boy guy. Dude, why am I so fucking ugly? You're not. Literally every single person you know has told you that you're good looking. Yeah, but they're just saying that because they feel bad for me. Feel bad? Feel bad for you? No. No. We Most of us find you fucking annoying. David Bowie. Majin Buu. Yoshi. Nerdy Gundam Speed Racer, An Innocent Child, Tail Monster, Pikachu, Hardboy One, Groot, Super Diabetes, Kakashi Sensei but Terrifying, Hot Topic, Captain Office Supplies, Falco's Bizarre Adventure, If the Human Torch and Iceman had a child and then traumatized it, The Invisible Dumb, Bitch, If You Turned a Puppy into a Human Being, Gross, 3D Printer, Big Meaty Claws, Swamp Thing's religious daughter, Hard Boy Two, Rogue but annoying. So I was I was going through the drive-through and I got to the window where you get your food, and there was a lady there, and I took the first thing and I put it down, and I heard her say, uh, "Hello," and the psychotic parrot that lives in my brain was like, "You're gonna repeat that," and I was like, "Hello," because I expected that she gave me the first part. She's going to get the other part. She definitely won't hear me. She's definitely inside the restaurant, and I turned back and she's right there staring at me, and I was just like. And then I grabbed the other part and sped away because it was a, a a sad, sad moment in my life. She doesn't deserve that. She's Her shift is almost over. She wants to go home. And then an insane child pulled into her drive-thru. I'm going to do an impression of your voice that you're probably insecure about, lady. Haha. <laughs> and then I sped away like a psychopath. Why is let the cat out of the bag a popular phrase? Why do you have a cat inside of a bag? And why is it a bad thing that the cat got out of the bag? I'm, I'm glad the cat got out. I hope it runs away and you never see it again because you like to torture animals. I mean, was there a time when it was just like people scooping up cats and throwing them in bags and people were like, Don't let that shit out of there! It'll run amok. Is what it'll, it'll reveal all your secrets. Because it's a cat. What? Well, it was really hard to get him inside the bag. So if I have to let him out, then he'll it'll be hard to get him back in, you know. Mm, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you should let it out of the bag and leave it there. I don't know what your motivation to keep it inside the bag is other than being like an insane person. I love Steve Harrington's character. He's such a mom taking care of those kids. Didn't he? You're talking about Steve Harrington from Stranger Things? Yeah, duh. Isn't his whole character just like a manipulative, jealous, insecure, kind of a piece of shit? He was, but then he um, put in a little bit of effort to help some kids. And that that's all forgiven. Didn't he help his douchebag friends write Nancy Wheeler's a slut? on a movie theater or something like that? That was all in the past. That was like 30 years ago. Isn't he constantly trying to guilt trip Nancy anytime he she gets more than 50 feet away from him and is trying to pressure her into being in a committed relationship with him? See, what you're overlooking is that he has nice hair and he's a handsome guy. You're gonna go in there and you're gonna give him the old one-two, all right? You're gonna rock his socks off. What's the old one-two? How do I do that? All right, it's, it's pretty complicated. You go in there, you give him one of these, and then you give him one of those. You just... Pantomime punching a guy twice. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. W did you come up with that? Yeah, it's the old one, too. It's a classic. It's legendary. So, before you did that, people will just fight with one punch. Yeah. And then you got into a fight with a guy, and you hit him twice... And I'm assuming everybody in the room freaked out. 
Are you making fun of me? No, I'm calling you a revolutionary. You're a, you're a, you're a genius. If you, if you don't want my help, I understand. No, I definitely plan on hitting him more than once. It's, I'm gonna use your strategy, in fact. Who go outside? Should I go outside? Let's go outside. Let's go outside, see? Let's go. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Let's go outside, see? What are we doing? We going outside? Careful. Don't go outside. Go, go, go. What? I'm gonna get you. 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 What are you doing, huh? You're looking for weak points in the defenses so you can get out. You're like a velociraptor. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You're gonna get caught is what you're gonna get. Where you going, huh? There's nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. Well, that's some place to hide. I can't follow you in there. I'll just burn the whole forest down. You know, I read your file. Even the blacklisted parts. The U.S. government had you toppling a lot of communist regimes in the 1960s.